Hey everybody, it's Sharon from Vivid Days. We are going to work on a sculpture today. Now, I found this window film about um, six to eight months ago, but never purchased it, but was going to use it. And because I work with a high shine for my resin sculptures and thought this would be pretty, but uh, never got around to it. And then I have a wonderful friend called Cheryl who has been requesting that I use some of this in my sculpture because she has seen and was inspired by the wonderful Sandra uh, Lett. So I'll put the link to Sandra's uh, channel in my description. Go give her some love. Say hello from myself. And thank you, Cheryl. As you know, I was Godhead22. I hope I've said that right, Cheryl. Anyway, by uh, subscriber stroke art friend request, I have purchased some and I am going to give it a go, but I'm going to stick true to my sculptures. Uh, so it's free form. I envisage having three sizes. So uh, large, medium, small, won't use all that space, but I want to make sure that there's a runoff. And I found the most amazing iridescent uh, crystals. Sorry, that's getting my inks ready for it. Uh, crystals ready to it. So I think it's going to complement it because... Uh, as you will have seen from uh, people that have used this before, you get this nice iridescent feature throughout it. And I'm hoping that that's going to add value to my um, sculptures that I already do to try and look like gla glass. Um, I've got a shower curtain one that I'm working in the background, but it's got too many creases, so I'm drying that out. It doesn't give a holographic, but it does give a pattern. I'm going to see if it adds value anyway. This is uh, the window film that I'm using, so that will be in my description and I've made sure that my board is level. I've mixed up 300 mils worth of Mastercast one-to-one -one, and within that I've already added my super sparkle white so it's got glitter through it. It's been waiting now 10 minutes. It's still quite cool so I've got the timer for another five minutes. The bubbles are rising and I've already added that super sparkle white in there and the colours of choice slightly different to one I've done before but we're going to go with the rose the clover, the tangerine, and these are a epoxy resin pigments, and these are the decor rum ones. Uh, beautiful transparency. Grape, turquoise, and mango. Now I'm hoping that those colours are gonna give that transparency and that feel of the glass, and then hopefully this will add value to it. But who knows? It's the first time I've used it in this. I know that there are other artists out there that have used this. Uh, so make sure you go out there, give some love. But I just want to, I've not watched their videos of how they do them, just so that I am not influenced by them currently, other than material. And I want to stick true to my style, my art, my way. But I will go over after this and give them some love also. Anyway, I'm Sharon. I'm digressing. The only other tool that I'm going to need is a skewer stick for mixing those colours and my heat gun. Uh, and maybe a little bit of blowtorch and that'll be it for the first stage and you'll probably need five hours waiting and then we'll move on to the next stage but other than that I'm going to switch it to the head over camera and we'll go on with this.
Top Gun in my Top Gun movie in my mind, which is Highway to the Danger Zone. <laughs> I 
Um, I always make a mess here because I put a lot more crystals on around the resin to create a dam because as it keeps leaking, I want to make sure it gets absorbed into those edges beautifully. And then I know that the leftovers, I can just scoop together and reuse them. The only thing you see is that you have to do it delicately because I don't want, if I pick it up wrong, I don't want them falling into the work, but I also don't want to fall them onto the other one. Anyway, I'm trying, I am digress. I do not know so far if this paper is going to add any value to my usual sculptures because it's on the inside out. And I decided to do it that way so that when you're looking into the bowl, hopefully you will see that beautiful pattern coming through. But I love these colours and I love these crystals because depending on um, what colours underneath, it really does capture that colour and bring it through. So there's going to be no clear edges on this one, which is what I normally do. However, there definitely is bling and I think it's added value to these colours. Now, I'm really happy that that yellow did come out and it almost reminds me of like candy floss and unicorns and fairies and I don't know like a, a world of pure imagination there is so much vibrancy and happiness in these pieces and I hope that they continue to cure like this so I waited five hours after I'd mixed my resin because it's slightly curer and uh, it was firm to touch but still very soft but the resin wasn't sticking to me and I managed to Get them into a position where I think they will all jigsaw together but I now need to leave them for six hours and come back and do the final sculpting stage and hopefully it will be in the middle middle and here and you're trying to map out in your head and I'm trying to make sure that these are flat but that'll also come towards the end as well but so far so good I hope that I don't get too much runoff down here I'm super excited to remove this and see what value, if any, it's added. But the one thing I do know is a good substrate to work on anyway for when you're doing sculptures. So it's a good place for you to do it freehand and hold it. So, yeah, fingers crossed we'll see you in six hours where we'll start to demold this and then, yeah, see what we've created. Hope it's as happy as it looks so far. Anyway, I'm Sharon. I'm digressing. See you later. Just for the messy workstation you've just seen me come in and sculpt and i just wanted to talk about this uh, window paper so it actually came off slightly harder than the other materials that i use it did come off i didn't lose anything there's just bits i've got to remove and not too many creases in it so i will be able to reuse it again i've not been able really to see the benefits of using this yet because it's in the final stages of setting so it needs to stay like that overnight and then I'll be able to assess if it's had this nice little um, shine to it in rainbow uh, coming through from the iridescent sort of window etching but 
loving what I'm seeing so far as far as these colours have of bled and all the jewels and uh, it was quite bendy still but uh, you know it wasn't too ridiculous so I've done my scaffolding I do reuse all this paper look it's here for different projects so please don't worry I'm doing my bit for the environment um but yeah it's just a matter of waiting and seeing overnight I did contemplate twisting that bit but I think I want that part to stay true and then I might be able to see if I'm getting sort of that rainbow um glass effect um yeah just gonna leave this overnight and make sure that it's all level i've made sure as well that i can get in here and remove the tape because that's something that you need to think when you're working it outside in like i did with my middle piece obviously center and then the middle or am i trying to say it's very late uh that you can actually remove this masking tape when it's time because uh, it's all into um, interweaved so let's hope that we have produced a fairly interesting sculpture something's just flicked off there so i need to make sure that that's reattached the reason i put that around the middle is just to help pull it together a little bit when i've got my things where i want to be and this is what i just need to hang around for to make sure things like this don't happen otherwise your sculpt will set in a place that you don't want it to be but i'm sharing i'm digressing let's uh, see you in the morning keep this spinning it might put you into a relaxed tranquil state this is so cool neil got me this for uh, a part of a christmas present and it's basically a turning table as you can see and you can have it off obviously you want it moving on and there's a little light in the middle which i've not necessarily had on for this but for displaying your artwork uh, when you're wanting to capture videos, I think it's amazing. Anyway, I'll turn my light off because I don't need it. So I will do my best to try and show you um, the holographic. So as it comes through, you can see bits of rainbow hitting it. So I'm just going to let it spin for a little bit so that you can hopefully see it glisten. So on first reflection when I saw it, I thought, well, I don't think it's really added that much value for the hassle it took to take off, which isn't a lot. It's just more than what I'm used to. You can't really see it. And the, the lines do add a little bit to that stained glass effect. But once a light or a glass catches it in the right angle, you can see like that rainbow effect just come there, like that prison. So it'd be interesting to see what your thoughts are on it. I'll just let it rotate. But I just love these colours, it is such a happy piece and what a great way to start the new year, eh? Let's spread the word with world with positivity, love and colour in your creations. I love this time of the year because I don't really go that hard within December. Yes, I am um, packaging up things from Etsy, but I'm not really creating a lot. So this is where I start to think new year. Lots of positive vibes. I'm drawn to the ocean, bright, happy spring colours. And that's what you'll probably see coming out in my art. So will I use this paper again? Yes. I'll try it with some subtler colours and you might see some more of the uh, prism effect coming out or those rainbows. But it does capture beautifully. And I love these iridescent um, stones I've got. And when you've put them at the top there and it just blends in with the colours that's underneath, it's yummy and I'm really happy with my three layers. You can stick at one, you can stick at two, you can stick at three. This one didn't take a huge amount of resin, 300 mils. Um, I had one bag of gems and I've still got three quarters left, so it's not taken a lot. The colours are brilliant and yeah, you can see some of that. Um, I'll try and shine my torch over it so you get to see if this is in a window or... Um, where there's a light, some of the different effects you're going to get as you're passing by. It's sort of a beautiful rainbow effect just then. So it's not all the time. It's very subtle. It's like my super sparkle white that's in there. But I think you have to say it's a bright, happy piece. I love it. I'd love your thoughts on it. Um, I'd love, um, you know, if you've worked with this paper before, like I said, I know Sandra has, so make sure you go visit her site. She does some really nice, clear, elegant pieces. It might's a little bit more in your face, isn't it? But 
that's me. <laughs> I've stuck true to the way I would normally do sculpting. Uh, you saw that it was slightly more hassle to remove the paper, but that's because there's the grooves and everything like that. So that's the pattern that's holding it in, but it does release. You are going to be able to use it uh, a few times, multiple times. So cost effective wise, it may work out, but you do have to build these costs into when you're selling your sculptures as well. Um, other than that, thumbs up, subscribe, share. Comments are always welcome. Remember to visit my Facebook group and showcase your creations, whatever type they'll be. You will help inspire the group in there and hopefully uh, they will inspire you. And visit my Etsy store. I'll start to add some more little treasures there. Again, some of my old work will be going up there in the next couple of weeks. I'm trying to work through my back catalogue. And if you are a lover of the sculptures, I'm sorry I've sold out. I mean, it's a good problem to have, but I will look at creating some more. Uh, the only problem is you can't 100% ever replicate anything, but I'll stick true to some of the colours that people are requesting. Anyway, I'm Sharon. I'm digressing. Merry Christmas. Oh, not Merry Christmas. We've already done that. Happy 2021. May all your wishes and dreams come true. I wish you nothing but health, happiness, love and creative juices to keep creating out there anyway i've just gone off and digressed and you're probably all asleep now uh, with this but yay i think the project's a winner but i'd love your thoughts anyway see you on the next video bye bye